You're just going to have to keep uh, buying drugs the good old fashioned way from your shady friend of a friend. History is riddled with unexplained events. You can turn back now or learn the stuff they don't want you to know. Hi, um, so my name is Taylor. Feel free to use my name in this message. Um, I wanted to talk about Colonia High School in Colonia, New Jersey. So basically what is happening is there is that there seems to be an abnormally high rate of people um, who have the same type of brain tumor. Um, so that would be glioblastoma multiforme. So this is being detected in high rates among students and staff um, that have attended or worked at the school over time. The school was built in the 60s, so this is definitely a longitudinal type of discovery. It's not just current students, and it's not just people from a certain time in the past. Um, I first found out about this on TikTok, of all places, um, and I've seen a lot of things about it on Reddit as well. Um, in the comments on both of those things, you see a lot of people being like, yeah, my uncle went here, he had this. Oh, my, my sister had this. I know people. So it seems like it's very present in those types of um, platforms. And then when I tried to look up news articles, I really could only find, in terms of mainstream news, um, something from CBS News and Today that talked about it. The rest seemed to be more local, smaller outlets. Um, but even so, in, the, in these articles, they seem to be talking about the same type of idea that there's some type of environmental factor happening, maybe something to do with the land the school is built on. Um, not really sure. Um, that's why I think you guys maybe want to talk about this, uh, if you find it interesting. Maybe there's some other similar situations that have happened where there's pockets of exposure. Um, but I just kind of feel like it's not really being discussed. It seems like there are preliminary tests um, happening, but I have not seen any results of those tests published or talked about really in any capacity. It seems a little suspicious if you ask me. I don't know. So I figured who else? Would, you guys are perfectly uh, equipped to talk about this. And I will say, leaving a voicemail is a little harder than it seems. So props to everyone else who's left one before me. That I think sounds a little bit more composed than I do. So hopefully that's piqued your guys' interest. Um, and thanks. Keep up the good work. Bye. Oh, nice. Well done, Taylor. Yeah. I never asked her why it was harder to leave a voicemail than she expected. I don't know why. It, it's literally Ben and some music, and then it goes beep, and you talk. It well, should be easy. Well, people people don't react super well to being put on the spot you know uh earlier mm -hmm. earlier i had advised uh folks to not be afraid of taking a, you and i both talked about this back in the day when we first had the voicemail uh rolling out make a little bullet point list you know and you could just read off the bullet points right um but Regardless, uh, when when you contact us, folks, please don't feel like you're in anything but uh, safe hands. You know, we're we've got yes. your back, and um, and Matt in particular has your back, as I as I said earlier. And also, Taylor, I would say that was a really well done voicemail. You know, uh, yeah, it was yeah, absolutely, yeah, it was. So let's get into this. Let's what let's talk about what Taylor just hipped us to. Oh wow, I'm old. Okay. <laughs> New Jersey, going to Colonia, New Jersey, in Woodbridge Township, to Colonia High School, home of the Fighting Patriots. I've added the fighting there for everybody. It's a school that was built in 1967. And according to CBS News and several other places, as Taylor mentioned there, there is something rotten going on. Whether or not it actually has anything to do with the high school, that is left to be found, but there's definitely something happening in that area. Let's jump to March. All the way back to March 30th, 2022, when CBS News uh, via Meg Baker, who was writing for them, reported, former Woodbridge, New Jersey resident says 65 people who either attended or worked at Colonia High School have had rare brain tumors. Hmm. And uh, there's an interview here with a gentleman named Al Lupiano, L-U-P-I-A-N-O. He is the person, the primary person who has been looking into this and performing the research, talking to people, gathering all of the intel. 
He's an environmental scientist, and he had confirmed as of that date 65 individual cases of people with with rare brain tumors. And the only common denominator that he was able to ascertain at that time was the high school itself. And he was actually diagnosed with a brain tumor, one of these. It was over 20 years ago, so around 2002, when he was diagnosed. And he still suffers from issues from that, according to CBS. And he, it's not like it's just him. His sister, who also attended the school, was diagnosed with a brain tumor, as well as his wife. His, like, seriously, think about that. You, your spouse, and your sibling, all diagnosed with a brain tumor. Uh, his sister, unfortunately, was diagnosed with a glioblastoma, and she passed away, um, at least as of the reporting that was done then. Uh, context, so this note, guy, context note, only 5% mm-hmm. of brain tumors may be linked to hereditary genetic factors. So wow. the odds against that are fairly significant. Yeah, they are. And then you bring in the other 62 people that he'd identified and, you know, your your mind starts reeling. Wow, what is happening here? What is the common denominator? What What's occurring? Um, so Al has just been on a mission since he made this discovery, like figure out what this is and get some action done. It's it's pretty awesome, actually. And Al, I, I don't know if you're listening or not, but if you are, this is you're doing great work, man. Thank you for doing what you're doing. Um, I want to read you a quote from the Woodbridge mayor named John McCormick. He, there's a quote that he had in this article quote, what I find alarming is there's truly only one environmental link to primary brain tumors like this. I added that like this, and that's ionizing radiation. It's not contaminated water. It's not air. It's not something in the soil. It's not something done to us due to bad habits. It's ionizing radiation. So this is according to Al, who's an environmental scientist. Uh, This is somebody who has had brain cancer for over 20 years. This is uh, somebody coming at this from a very uh, scientific perspective. And so if you think about ionizing radiation, that's probably something in an environment, in a building, in a place where you have been a lot. Because you... There's going to be a lot of ionizing radiation required in order to create that kind of tumor right? It's not just a one dose. Now you've got a tumor kind of thing. So, uh, Al Lupiano started saying, well, maybe it is this school. Maybe that's what the problem is. Uh, maybe that's the common link. So we had a target, right? Uh, A potential thing to research, to study and started down that path. And immediately there's a response here from Woodbridge mayor, John McCormick, that I want to read to you. It's also in that CBS article quote, It was virgin land. It was woods. The high school was the first thing to be there, so there was probably nothing in the ground at the time. The only thing that could have happened, potentially, was fill that was brought in during construction. And, here's the last part of that quote, we have no records 55 years ago. Now, what the mayor is saying here is that potentially, if there wasn't some kind of factor that was producing ionizing radiation... The only thing, according to him, that it could be is the dirt in the land that was brought in to, you know, what he's calling fill, the stuff that you add in order to get certain elevations, uh, whether you're going up or down to make a building fit into, you know, the place where you're putting it. 